Uh, I won't be in your presence, but just a few minutes. Come on, sir. Sir, uh, what time I take, oh, I know that it's got to be, the Bible teaches us that to be absent from the body is to be present in the Lord. Uh, I believe that the Spirit of God will cause people to move. Uh, the Holy Ghost causes you to move. David danced before God. I know a lot of people don't believe in this and don't believe in that. Let's, say, let's take what saith the Word of God and let the rest of it go. Now, I'll, I'll satisfy all of us. I'll, I may satisfy some when I preach and I'll satisfy the rest when I sit down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. The Word of God <clears throat> will stand the truth will stand when the world's on fire. That's right. And his brother Darrell said, Duh, we're living right down in Pearl's time. And you young people and old alike have heard it for a long time. His brother here is up in years. He's been hearing it for a long time. I'll guarantee he can tell you it's closer now and things has changed uh, for the worst uh, uh, since he's been on the board. Yep. People don't want to hear the truth. But do you know what it takes to set you free? The truth. And the truth is Jesus Christ. That's right. And he said, if I make you free, you'll be free indeed. indeed. <clears throat> I'd like to read something <clears throat> that we all go through. Everybody's heard it a thousand times. I love it. It's the 23rd chapter of Psalms. Yeah. The Lord is my shepherd. He's all of it. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Yeah. People today, <clears throat> your Christian, your soul gets hungry. I don't know what people understand that or not. Yeah. Your natural body gets hungry. Yeah. Your soul gets hungry. Yeah. He restored my soul. He made me the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me now. Thou rod and thou staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me. In the presence of my enemies, thou anoints my head with oil, and thy cup runneth over. For surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we've got someone to go to, and his name is Jesus Christ. He's the Savior of the world. And according to the Word of God, He's the special Savior. But to them that look for His appearing, but Jesus Christ is a coming back. You never need to doubt that. He said, I'm going away, but I'll return in like manner. He said, if I go not, the Comforter can't come. And I'm going to preach to you today that Jesus is the Comforter. He is the Holy Ghost. He is the Comforter. And I will say, He's seated on the right hand of God, making intercession for the saint. According to His will, we're living in perilous times. The people already accepted right for wrong and wrong for right. Jesus says, There'll be all manner of doctors come before you. Follow not after them. In, in the days, of, in the last days, there will be many saying, Confess unto God, Have I not worked many miracles in thy name? And done this, and he'll tell them, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. For I never knew you in a party, in a remission. See it. You understand today? God is a spirit. Yeah. He seeks himself to worship you. But you must worship him in spirit and truth. 
that. Uh, man, let me tell you something other. In the flesh, Paul said, dwell no good thing. That's right. The good part's on the inside. Yeah. <coughs> Jesus come there and Mary Martha was there. And Martha was busy doing this, doing that. Jesus said, you've done well. I but uh, Mary has not stopped. What's my feet with the hairs of her head and drive down? She chose the good part. Nothing in the world don't matter, honey. Because we'll leave him in town or he'll leave us. What does matter when the Spirit of God comes to you? You better take hold while eternal life is available. Work while it's day for when night come. No man can work when the Spirit of God is attaching you. Right or wrong, you better listen. It's not talking about day and night. We've got to make the light. And we see even underground. It's talking about the heart. Man, leave it with the heart. You're not going to heaven for your good works. I can tell you that. You're not going to heaven for your good works. It's by obedience. It's better than sacrifice. It's choosing. Jesus said, you've not chosen me, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, you're no more of the world, but we live in it, but we take no part in the world. Because if you seek, being Christians, preachers and all, Pastors and all, you seek to please man, you cannot please God. I've never pleased man. I don't even please myself. But I'm in this for life. And I don't worry about pleasing man. I preach the word of God, and I let the chip fall where they may. As a tree falls, so shall it be. There's nothing, no strange doctrine to preach. I've not changed my doctrine a bit since I first started preaching 38 years ago. It's the same today. God said, I'm the same today. I'll be the same tomorrow, and I change not. Men and women can change, but the Word of God shall abide in that forever. If you want to go to heaven, if you don't like this stuff of God, there's a still old voice that'll come to you one time, and it's Jesus Christ. And if you don't take heed, he's not obligated to visit your heart no more. You get your song. He said, you die in your sins, why you cannot come? Where's he at, preacher? I believe according to the word of God, and I believe everything in it. That he's on the right hand of the Father making intercession for the saints. He's ever between us and God. Jesus is the man. Jesus is the Savior.